Okay guys, so continue tayo. So next is local buckling. So paano natin i-classify yung section uh, for local buckling? So pag sinabi nating local buck, meron kasi tayong dalawang types ng buckling, no? Buckling mode. Meron tayong general buckling and saka yung local buckling. Pag sinabi nating general buckling, so parang yung overall height niya yung magbabakel. Pag local buckling is uh, let's say yung elements lang niya or yung plunge, no? Yung plunge lang yung magbakel, no? Local buckling yan. Bali within yung section niya. Okay, so paano natin i-classify yung section under uh, local buckling? So, sinabi yan ang code, na? So, section are classified as compact, non-compact, or slender, uh, slender element section. So, for section to qualify as compact, in its plunge, must be continuously connected to the web or webs and the width limiting uh, ratio. Yeah, we have the web, web, width limiting thickness ratio, and lambda of its compression elements must not exceed yung limiting uh, limiting uh, width thickness ratio na lambda p okay so kung i-do natin yan mas mas pabura ko sana eh graphical eh so let's say ganito no ito yung lambda p natin so pag nag-fold daw siya dito na region bali yung width thickness ratio natin is less than does not must not exceed no must not exceed so pwede pa pwede pa yung equal So, ibig sabihin, compact daw yung section. So, compact daw yung dito. Okay? So, yung value nung YP, may kita mo yan sa table 502.4.1 and 502.4.2. No? May kita mo yan. Pakita ko yan mamaya. Pero pag yung width uh, thickness ratio mo, of one or more compression elements exceed yung YP so mas malaki pa yung mas malaki pa yung uh, lambda natin but does not exceed yung uh, lambda sub ano yan ano yung symbol na yan gamma no gamma R ba yan or gamma I think gamma yan eh uh, capital nung gamma parang ganyan natin yan mga ganyan natin yan, capital nung gamma anyway basta yun yun, no? so pag less than daw sya nung less than or equal nito so I uh, assume andito sya so that is non compact, okay so yun yun, no? so pag greater than pag ito is greater than nito so ibig sabihin that is slender. Okay? Slender na yung section. So, the section is non-compact. So, if yung width thickness natin ratio exceeds, no, mas malaki sa gamma R, so the section is referred to as slender element section. So, yun na. No? So, once nag-fall siya dito sa compact and non-compact section, so ito yung gagamitin mo sa calculation mo. Yung code na to, no? which is under section 50 505.3 no? applicable for compact and non-compact section pag slenderness uh, pag slender yung section so ito naman yung gagamitin mo sa pag design mo no? so yung section 505.3 sinabi niya kasi dito applicable siya for sec, uh, compre, uh, compression members with slender section okay? so mamaya takal natin yan so yung mga value nung YP Anong uh, lambda P, yung, yung value nito, tsaka yung value nito, may kita natin yan sa table, okay? Which is, ito yun, no? So, meron tayo sa compact and non-compact. So, ito yung mga value nila. May kita mo sa table dito, dalawa yan, no? Hindi yan, uh, hindi, hindi lang yan applicable for columns, no? Meron din siyang sa, uh, hindi lang siya applicable for Uh, compression but also in pleasure yung mga table na to. So, dapat tignan nyo ng maayos na no? kung pleasure ba yan or compression ba yan ha? compression compression ha? pleasural then may kita natin dito uh, pleasural sya na pleasure, compression pleasure compression uh, pleasure, tsaka compression. Titignan mo lang maayos yan. Ha? Para alam mo kung ano yung gagamitin mo na na code. No? Pleasure, compression, compression, tsaka pleasure. No? Yan. So, dito mo yan makikita lahat yung mga value nung 
YP. So, kukumputin mo ito. Diba? Kukumputin mo yan. Dep depende kung anong case yung, for example, yung section mo uh, is W uh, W section. Bari, pero masyadong slender yung plunge niya, no? Probably yan dito yan, no? Dito yan mag-fall for B over B over T tsaka sa H over T W probably dito siya mag-fall, no? Kasi compression, eh. Hindi pwede to kasi pleasure to, no? So, since compression members yung dinidesign natin, so probably dito siya mag-fall sa case 10. Okay? So, that is for H over TW. So, may kita mo, mayroon tayong B over T. Yan yung mga limiting condition natin. Uh, with thickness uh, ratio. Hindi, hindi yan yung limiting, okay? R rather, yung B over T, yan yung mga with thickness ratio natin. May kita mo, with thickness ratio. Yung dito yung dalawa, yan yung mga limiting with thickness ratio. Uh, yan yung ibig mong sabihin. So, Ganon din dito yung H, uh, H over TW. So, with thickness ratio. So, para makuha mo yung mga value ng B and T dyan, yan, yan lang man yung issue mo, yung B and H. May kita mo yan dito sa code pa rin, no? Uh, under sa 502.4, di ba? For unsteepened elements. Di ba? Unsteepened elements, probably, yun yung plunge. Di ba? Kasi, di ba? For, for unsteepened elements, supported along only one age parallel to the direction of compress, compression force the width shall be taken as follow so yun na? so yung width daw for plunges of I shape members and T's the width B is one half of D full plunge no? bali kung ano natin yan yung B over T pala dito is one half daw yung B then TW na? thickness ng plunge so parang gana ah hindi plunge ah uh, thickness nung uh, BF over 2 thickness ng plunge parang ganyan so ganun din sa iba no pag angle sya so, ito naman yung gagamitin mo na B Pag plate And pag structural T na? So, ganyan na? So, yung dito naman sa H di ba? May kita natin H over T nung web no? Thickness nung web So, ibig sabihin unsteep, uh, Steepen siya na? So, andito yan sa section 502.4.3 Which is steepen yung element So, probably yan yung mga planges Kasi for steepen element Supported along 2 uh, Ages parallel to the direction of the compression force. So, yun. So, probably yun yung web. Na? So, yun. No? Yung pag-compute mo nung H, uh, dito pa rin yan. No? For, web, uh, for webs of rolled or formed section and for webs of built-up section. And for plunge or dia diaphragm plates in a built-up section and for rectangular hollow structural section or yung HSS. Nga pala, no? yung, yung WMS section, uh, most likely, ano siya eh, most, uh, mas, mas maganda siyang pang-column dahil, uh, dahil mostly sa mga section na yun, yung mga WMS section, uh, mostly compact siya. Eh? Mostly compact and non-under siya sa mga compact and non-compact, which is maganda for uh, columns. For HSS, yung mga T, yeah? uh, medyo ano siya eh, medyo, medyo prone siya sa local buckling. So, yan, medyo mahirap eh. Pag local buckling kasi, uh, pag local buckling kasi, uh, ano, uh, liliit yung, mas liliit yung capacity ng column natin. No? Pag may local buckling na nangyayari. Diba? Imagine mo na mapiko ang iyang section, no? So, pangit yan. So, anyway, yan yung mga value ng H and TW. Ayan. So, I think, uh, masa, Mas maintindihan mo yun, no? clear distance between plunge, less uh, the fillet or the corner ridges at each plunge. Sige lang, uh, mag-example ako ng ganitong problem, no? Sa next pa na mga videos. Pagkita ko lang muna yung mga value. Okay, uh, recap tayo, ha? Basta ganito lang, no? Para maklassify mo siya under compact section, dapat less than lang siya nung gamma P natin. Pag ma para maklassify mo siya as non-compact section, so dapat in between siya nung gamma P natin, tsaka yung gamma, gamma R, no? Pag greater than siya, that is under slenderness ratio. So, yung mga limiting width natin dito, yung mga value na yan, may kita natin yan lahat dito sa table. Okay? Check out na lang ng table. 
Ayan, may kita mo dyan lahat, no? Basta titignan mo lang na pleasure tsaka compression, no? Take note with the pleasure and compression sa table, no? So, paano pag slender, slender yung element? So, same lang yung formula actually. Same lang yung formula, may nadagdag lang. No? Nadagdagan lang ng Q. Diba? Same lang yung formula, nadagdagan lang ng Q. Ayan, no? Nadagdagan lang ng Q. So, ngayon, yung issue, paano mo? Ah, same pa rin, no? Pag compute mo nung nominal strength, yun pa rin, babasayan mo pa rin yung slow, uh, lowest ng pleasural, torsional, and pleasural, torsional buckling. Okay? So, same lang yung formula, na, nadagdagan lang ng Q. Ngayon, yung issue ngayon, paano mo kukumputin yung Q? Ah, dito yan. Dito yan. Sa user note. So, for cross-section compose only on unsteep and slender elements, so, yung QA niya is just equal, uh, yung Q pala is equal 1 for members with compact and non-compact. Kaya, may kita mo na wala yan sa, yung, sa previous na video natin. Wala siyang binigay na Q kasi, yun nga, no? Yung Q equals 1. Pero, pag slender, So, ito yung magiging value nya eh. Q is just QS times nung QA. Okay? So, for members with slender element section. So, yun na. na? So, for cross section composed only on a steep and slender elements, yung QA equals 1 and then equals QS. So, for cross sections composed of only steep and slender elements, yung QS equals 1, then Q equals D. QA. Okay? So, for cross-section composed of uh, both steepen and steepen slender elements, so, yung Q natin is QS, QA. Okay. So, I think klaro yan. Na? So, paano natin kukumpute yung value ng QA and QS? Ayan. So, ito na yung Uh, under yan sa section 505.7.1 So, ayan no, QS QS Sige lang no, kahit wala yung user note uh, Binigay din yan sa section 505.7.1 So, yan yung sa QS Sa QA is under yan sa Section 505.7.2 So, ganito din yung formulas na gagamitin May computing for the value of QA Okay, I hope klaro ako dyan. So, pag mag-solve tayo ng QS, so, yan lang, no? Yung, uh, yung QS, yan yung reduction factor for slender and steepen elements. So, ito lang, no? So, pag less than siya ng 0.56 for plunges, angle, and plates, pag less than siya ng 0.56 square root ng E over FY, yung QS natin equals 1. Pag in between siya nung 0.56 square root ng E over FY and 1.03 square root ng E over FY ito naman yung gagamitin na tin na formula pag greater than siya ng 1.03 square root ng, ng E over FY so ito naman yung formula na ating gagamitin okay uh, projecting from ruled columns or other compression members pero pag build up build up balik composition of uh, mini section no pag build up naman so pag less than siya ng 0.64 square root ng EKZ over FY so ito yung formula na gagamitin for QS pag less than uh, pag in between siya ng 0.64 square root ng EK over FY and 1.17 square root ng EK over FY so ito naman yung formula na gagamitin di ba So, may kita mo na medyo nag-differentia sila dito at saka nadagdagan lang ng E ah, ng KZ sa formula, no? Then, pag greater than siya ng 1.17 so, ito naman yung formula na gagamitin mo So, yung value ng KZ, ito yan no? So, 4 over square root ng H over TW Okay? And shall not be less than 0.35 nor greater than 0.76 Okay? So, hindi daw dapat ito mag ah uh, hindi dapat ito mag less than. So, pwede siya mag 0.35, no? And, nor greater than. So, pwede rin siya ganyan, no? 
So, parang yung ganyan. 0.35. So, in between dapat siya ng 0.35 tsaka 0.76. So, pag nangyari na mas less than siya ng 0.35, so we will use the 0.35. Pag nangyari na greater than siya by 0.76, so we will use the 0.76. Ayaw, pula rin And then, yun na, no? Yun na. So, maiba pa din niya formula. So, sobrang dami. Ah, Nakat ko ata to. Okay lang, no? So, ito rin, no? So, kailangan mong i-check yan isa-isa for steam of structural T. Yung mga ganyan, no? So, I think klaro na yan, no? Same lang man din, no? Yung pattern. I-check mo lang yan. I-check mo lang yan. Depende kung ano yung section. Uh, section ng compression member mo. For QA, so ito naman, no? Reduction for steepen elements. Ayan. So, it's just area effective over the total cross-sectional area or the gross area EG. Okay? So, yung E-effective is just a mission of effective uh, areas of the cross-section based on the reduced effective width, PE. Okay? So, yung reduced effective width, ito yung formula niya. Okay? For uniform compressed na slender elements. Diba? Except yung mga square and rectangular section. Diba? So, ito yung mga formulas. Okay? So, medyo marami na yung formulas, no? Sobrang saya. Sobrang saya ng style design. So, yan, no? So, ito naman yung uh, other way in solving for BE. Pag ganito yung, ano niya, condition. Okay? I hope, ano yan? Pag, pag ganito yung condition. So, ito naman yung formula. Yeah? Pag ito, ma, ano mo, na condition yun yung formula. Pag ito yung condition na matin mo, ito yung formula na gagamitin. Okay? Then, ito din, no? For actually circular section. So, ito naman yung mga formula in solving for QA. So, ayun, no? Medyo madami talaga yung formula. Basta still design. Anyway, sa board exam, sana ibigay yan. Pero, mas kumuli, binibigay man yan. Good, eh, no? Pero kung hindi man, no. Pero ito, dapat memoryada mo to. Ayan. Kasi, alam ko, di yan ibibigay yan. Pero yun nga, minsan binibigay, minsan hindi. So, yun lang sa local buckling, no? Basta yung local buckling lang, is meron tayong general buckling which is yung overall length yung magbakel. Pag local buckling is yung elements lang yung magbakel like plunge or yung web lang yung magbakel. Okay? So kailangan mo lang i-check kung non-compact or compact section or slender, no? So pag slender siya, so may meron kang value na Q na madadagdag, no? Which is equivalent to QS and QA. So, yung mga formula ng QS and QA, andyan yan sa section 505.7.2 and 505.7.1. No? See, so far guys, yan lang. So, sa so next video is mag-solve na tayo ng problem. Thank you.